My number three value wide receiver this week is Marquise Hollywood Brown. I'm going back to Hollywood Brown. You look at this matchup, Houston's allowed the second most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers when adjusted for strength of opponent. Hollywood Brown has seen at least 17% of Baltimore's targets in every single game that he's played this year. And Houston ranks eighth worst in air yards allowed, which means they could allow a big play to happen. And we know that Hollywood Brown is a big play wide receiver. My number two value, it's John Brown. He's going up against a Miami secondary that hasn't been very good this season. They've also allowed the second highest average depth of target this year. And we know that John Brown's a big play wide receiver as well. And of all wide receivers in the NFL, two of them have seen 50 or more receiving yards in every single game played this season. One of them, Michael Thomas, the other, John Brown. He's a great value at under $6,000. The number one value this week, though, I'm going to go with DJ Moore. This is a game that has a fairly high over under DJ Moore is only priced where he's priced because he hasn't scored a touchdown since week three. But despite that over his last five games, he's seen at least a 24% target share in that Carolina Panthers offense volume should be going his way. And it's against a beatable Atlanta secondary. I love DJ Moore at $6,000.